Hey, it's High Tech Dad, and today I'm looking at the Air Multiplier by Dyson. And these are the guys who make those really high-tech looking vacuums. Well, this is a high-tech fan. And one of the things that really jumps out at me is there's no blade. It's pretty amazing. So anyway, uh, they use some of their same technology that they use in the vacuum cleaners, and they've made these these fans that are called air multipliers. So let me just crank this up. It comes with a remote and uh, you can see it also rotates here. So this is the floor model. There's also a tabletop model. Um, they're fairly quiet and the one nice thing is that the air is coming out here and it's not buffeting the way a traditional fan would with propellers. It's coming out with an even flow and what's what's interesting here, I better turn off the rotation here for a second is that the flow the air is actually coming out from let's do it here, this little vent in here so it's actually being sucked in from the base and it is traveling up and coming out of these vents here and it's accelerated and one of the 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 way it's designed is it not only shoots the air out from from here but it's also pulling air from behind and pulling air from the sides as it comes out. So anyway, watch on and I'll show you some other really great features about this Dyson Air Multiplier Fan. Um, traditional fans do have some sort of safety grill around it. It keeps fingers from getting in there and getting whacked out. Um, the thing is though that hair can sometimes get sucked in from the back and potentially wrap around and get hurt. So my, my daughters have donated a doll here to try and test this out. Obviously nothing would happen from the front, but there is always a possibility that it, hair could get stuck in from the back. And you can see it's starting to get sucked in right there. Oh, there it goes. So it could potentially, if the hair was longer, get wrapped around and and pull it out of the out of the scalp actually you know what I have a great idea let me just grab my daughter right here and I'm gonna stick her into the fan and see what happens just kidding all right so now we're gonna try the same thing again and actually do it with my daughter here so could you show me are there any blades on the fan at all put your hand in there Oh my god. No, I think you'll be okay. Oh my gosh. So nothing at all, huh? Your hand's still attached. That's pretty amazing. All right, so why don't you show me the hair test? Look at that. Your hair's not being chopped up into little pieces or pulled from your head, is it? No. No, it looks pretty good, huh? Yeah. All right, well, that's good. You're still alive. Yay! So I realize sometimes it's kind of hard to show a fan in action, especially when the fan doesn't have any blades. So here you can see the, the, the Dyson is actually running on low right now. And as I use the included remote control that actually attaches to the top here via a magnet, which is kind of nice, I can uh, show how the balloon is affected as the fan speed increases. So you can see. There it is, and when I lower it, and it's pretty quiet. Another nice thing about the Dyson Air Multiplier is how easy it is to clean. So like I showed earlier on the traditional fan, you have all the blades where you get dust accumulating. But with the Dyson, you can just get a cloth and just wipe down the surfaces, wipe down the air intakes down here, and that's about it. So anyway, you can read some more about this on my blog, and that's at www.hitechdad.com. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask me on Twitter, and I'm at Hitechdad.